up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2011 GMC Yukon long wheelbase XL black on the outside with black leather interior factory navigation and passenger seating up for eight passengers it has a middle row bench I got it running down just to cool it down because it's nice and hot outside today again black on the outside with black leather interior perfect for uber 2011 got four brand new bf goodrich tires just installed it has a clean title and also qualifies for carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for uh, for an extended warranty we're located at 3200 northwest 37th street miami florida 33142 is our zip code we will soon be moving to 3071 northwest 107th avenue in doral just um, just north of the Miami International and Dolphin Malls. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, now that we're finished going around the vehicle, let's go ahead and uh, let me get inside and show you the interior options. It does have navigation, factory running boards, privacy tinted glass, the door panels are all black with the wood trimming. Of course, you got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise, manual tilt wheel, Driver's side power seat, the seat slides back and forth and also up and down. Manual recliner and manual lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in perfect condition without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Like I said to you before, this is an eight passenger, two in the front, a full bench in the middle, four, three more, which is a total of uh, five, and three more in the rear bench for a total of eight. So um, you get the full seating on this one here, which is perfect for a large family, or if you wanted to conduct Uber, this is the right car and the right color. Okay, we got the factory navigation here. The car has 105,615 miles. Um, to the right of the odometer, <coughs> excuse me, to the right of the odometer is the outside temperature and above that is a compass that lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction <coughs> excuse me all right the car is running right now keep an eye on the tachometer i'm going to rev the engine and the reason i'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on no airbag light no service engine to no maintenance due, nothing like that everything is running and working perfectly the only light that you see on that is a seatbelt light because i'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video all right on the shifter lever here you have a plus and minus that is for your manual shifting option let me show you how that works right now so you can see we're in park so reverse neutral drive that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make a shift manually, go down to the M and you see a 1 comes next to it. So if I want to make a shift up now, I tap on the plus on the shifter lever and it shifts up every time I tap it once, all the way up to 6 as this vehicle has a 6 speed automatic transmission. If I tap on the minus, it downshifts. Nothing's happening now because we're not moving. But if we were, you'd be controlling the transmission shifting. If that does not interest you, leave it on the D. And the six-speed automatic transmission will do all the shifting on its own. All right, you also got a towing haul mode at the end of your shifter lever. Press it. A yellow wagon is going to appear on your tachometer screen. That is to make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. Uh, if you, when you're done shifting, press it again. The yellow wagon goes away. You're back into normal shifting. It does have the uh, Bose stereo sound system. Let's go ahead and have a listen. Let's press audio here. It does have XM capability, although right now it's in preview mode because you have to call that number or go to the website to sign up for a subscription. It's a touch screen, as you can see. And... Um, 
You can raise the volume right here on the string wheel. Lower it. Mute it here in the center. Uh, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you're going to answer the phone over here and hang it up over here. If you're not using the Bluetooth, you can hold down the mute button and access your voice commands. This one here is to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. This is your seek button that takes you to the next available station. And your source button helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM to the auxiliary input, which is right here for your iPod music. On the left hand side of the steering wheel you got your cruise control, you got a leather wrap steering wheel and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape. Now keep in mind this vehicle has 105,000 miles and look at the condition of the vehicle. The leather wrap, the trimming here is in nice shape, the seats are in nice shape, the exterior is in nice shape. Very nice condition inside and out, again perfect for a large family. It's got the right color combination if you're going to do Uber or Lyft or any one of those. It does have also the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. And let me tell you what OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. <clears throat> if you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. If you have any kind of emergency, press the red button there to the right of the blue button. The officer center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour phone number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith or having to pay a locksmith. Um, if you lost any directions, press the blue button, the on Star Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button, the on Star Center will come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance and concierge service. For more details, visit DawnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealer so you can get your 90 day free trial. Okay, starting from the bottom up here, you got cup holders here in the center and these cup holders can be removed and moved to this position here. So if you, let's say you spilled milk, soda, whatever, coffee, you can take it outside, hit it with a hose and get it cleaned up, bring, bring it right back in. A couple of cigarette light adapters here for your chargers, traction control, Got dual climate control, as you can see. I got the driver's side at 60, while the driver's side is at 70. And all that really does is it makes this vent here and that one over there blow at 70. Well, this one here and this one here will blow at 60, or whatever it is you set it to. Let's put it back down to 60 because it's hot outside. Okay, um, let's see what else. In the center console here, where you rest your elbow. You got like a little tray here where you can put your cell phone or whatever as long as uh, you're not open. If you open it, you want to move it because it's going to fall back. Down here, you have big storage, pretty deep storage, a USB port, and another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. So you got a total of three cigarette lighter adapters, one in there and two out here. Your main glove box is over here. And then there's the owner's manual with the other supplemental booklets. Got wood trimming all around on all four door panels and on the dashboard as well. This is your onboard computer and that's going to display right in there where the odometer is at. And that is for your personal settings, system check, trip odometer and so on. Uh, all right, you got up in the top here, you got map lights. Uh, let's panel with the passenger seating area now before we conclude the video. And uh, actually we still got we still got lots to go. We got to move over to the middle row, middle row and rear row sections of the vehicle. So let's turn off the car and let's move back there. These door panels have pockets here and a bottle holder. I don't know if I said that before, but I wanted to show you. All right, left rear door panel, same way, black with a wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How that works is you put your key in there, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. 
That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the outside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just put your key in there or a screwdriver, give it half a twist to the right, and this will start working again. You have anchors in here for your baby car seat. You can put your baby car seat on either of the three positions, outer, middle, or the uh, passenger side. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down. Ugh, okay. And uh, use it as an armrest or cup holder. All right. Uh, in the back of the center console, the middle row passengers can control the rear AC. They can control the fan speed, where they want it to flow, how cold or hot they want it. They can also control the stereo, turn it on and off, seek forward, seek backwards. They can change the source and they can also change the preset stations. They have um, jacks here for headphones. They control the volume and they can control the tuning. Another cigarette light adapter here and a cup holder that pops out. To gain access to the third row, you simply pull up on this handle, the seat will tilt and get out of the way, give you nice and easy access to the third row. You got dual AC here, one vent on each side for the middle row passengers, map lights for the middle row passengers, and another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. Give you a look at the headliner now so you can see that it's in good shape, it's not sagging or um, has any stains or cuts or burns. If you want to install a DVD player in this vehicle, for about $450, we could put a, a nice one here in place of where that light is. And the new DVD will actually have um, map lights also, so you can still have map lights if you need them. That's about the cost. Or you could do headrest DVDs, and those are probably about $550. I, I kind of like the roof-mounted unit better because it, um, it's, it's right in the middle and the rear row passengers can see it. That's if you get kids. If you don't have kids, you don't need that. You don't need that at all. Okay, uh, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All right, you got a rear wiper. Inside of the glass, you got the little orange lines, which is your rear window defogger. Again, it's a Yukon XL, which is like a Suburban. It's a long one. It is uh, flex fuel capable, meaning you can put the E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per dollar, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put regular on that or premium on that. A class three heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. To open up the tailgate, you squeeze the handle here and pull up. This vehicle has a 50-50 bench row seat in the rear. And remember, this is the um, the XL, so it's a long one, that even with the seats up, you got plenty of cargo space back here. All right? Another cigarette light adapter for your chargers. Now, this um, third row seat is a 50-50 bench row seat. So if you need to pull one seat out to put something in here, or you want to just flip it down, you could do one side and not the other, or you can do them both and go into full cargo mode. Now, if you want to go in cargo mode without removing the seat, you'll pull up on handle number one over there. The seat back will flop down, and then you pull up on handle number two, and the seat will actually lift like this, from the back to the front and stay upright, right up to the back of the center row seats and give you much more space back here without removing the seat. If you want to remove the seat, after you pull up on handle number one, then the seat back goes down, grab the one that says three, removal only. You pull out towards you and the seat will come out and you can put it away in your garage or wherever. And like, like I said, they're independent from each other, so you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both. All right, let's come around to the passenger side. Tire pressure monitoring sensors, four-wheel disc brakes. Right front door panel. Of course, you got the child lock protection on this side as well. Wood trimming in all four-door panels. Interior is in very, very nice shape. Well taken care of. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks, no stains. Cup holders in the back as well. Two on each side. Let's have a look at the headliner here from a different angle so you can see it's in good shape. All right, and let's move over to the front. Right front door panel. You get also power seat, like on the driver's side, back and forth and up and down, manual lumbar support and manual recliner. Let's panel with the seating area now. You can see it's also in perfect shape. All right, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. 
If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, viacomax.net, right on the homepage, up at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at viacomax.net.